Hello, good morning. Uh, this is Arvind Pediwal, and today we are going to discuss about Bioncy. Bioncy ke baare mein hum baate karenge. What is actually Bioncy is right. So whenever we talk about fluid, I would say fluid. So we have gas or liquid. Fine. So combinedly gas and liquid are called fluid whenever we have feel uh, we have felt this thing in in, in, in our day to day life that uh, when we immerse any body inside any liquid any fluid we feel that its weight has been reduced a bit so for that purpose what is the extra force what is the additional force that is reducing the weight of that body let us say a body is having 20 newton in air fine uh, let us let me uh, draw the fact uh, uh, yes we have we have one container fine right so we have one container and in which uh, let us assume any liquid or uh, i would say this is water is being right so this is water this is water and we have an object and this object is uh, an spherical object. Fine. So, okay, is right. So we have an object in which any material is there. So let us say the density of this material is one, and its volume is v. Fine. So the mass of this object is rho m into v. Fine. So an weight of this object is downward and that is mg and that can be written as rho m v to c. This is the weight we feel inside I would say air or I would say in open system in air the weight of this body is rho m v z. But when we immerse this body into let us say this liquid we feel that the weight is reduced a bit. So what is the reason behind it and the reason is buoyancy of this liquid or I would say an upthrust force by this liquid. Now how would this force would be behaving would be reacting this is we need to understand. See whenever uh, let us assume we have dropped this body we have dropped this body we have dipped this body inside this uh, system let us say this much fine. So we have dipped this body and this is the volume I let me make rounded this this is the volume and I would say this volume is V dash. What is V dash? This is the dipped volume. This is the dipped volume. This is the dipped volume of material of material inside inside water liquid. Let me call this fine. V dash is the volume of this material that is dipped inside this. Now, think one more option. When this volume has taken the space, when this volume has taken the space inside water, then equal value of volume, equal volume of water, equal volume of water has been removed. And this volume is V dash. What I mean to say is that जब हमने इस बोल को इसके अंदर डुबोया तो क्या हुआ? V dash volume जो है वो डुबा तो उतना का उतना volume का जो पानी है जो water है वो क्या हो गया? Displace हो गया. Now what is that volume? That is V dash. This is the volume of water. ये पानी का volume है जो बाहर निकला है. And if we multiply this with the density of liquid, then this is the mass of liquid mass of the liquid that has been displaced by this body this mass has been displaced by the body when the body has taken space inside this container fine yes now if the mass of liquid is m then if i multiply it with by z so this is the weight this is the weight this is the weight of liquid this is the weight of liquid displaced by weight of liquid displaced by material i would say spherical ball is a spherical ball na itna material pani ka yani mass hai wo displace kar diya and that is 
वेट सॉरी मैं बात करूंगा तो दैट इज रो एल वी डैश इन टू जी ये डिस्प्लेसमेंट हुआ है किसका वेट ऑफ वाटर नाउ यू सी एम जी इज द वेट ऑफ दिस एंटायर बॉल नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वे वन पॉइंट इज दैट जब इस वॉल्यूम ने इस बॉल के वॉल्यूम ने जो इसमें डूबा हुआ है उसने इतना वेट पानी का डिस्प्लेस कर दिया ना व्हाट हैपेंस एक्चुअली इस बॉल जब अंदर गई तो उसने इतने वेट का कितने वेट का इस वेट का जो पानी है इसको इसने क्या कर दिया डिस्प्लेस कर दिया यहां से अब आ, इसको आप ऐसे समझे कि जब ये बॉल पानी के अंदर जा रही थी तो इसने इतने पानी का वेट या बोल दू तो इतना वेट है यानी एक फोर्स है जिसको क्या कर दिया पानी पर लगाया है तो अब न्यूटन फर्डलो के हिसाब से हम जानते हैं या हम इस नेचर के हिसाब से हम जानते हैं एंड व्हाट इज दैट कि जब कोई बॉडी पे कितना फोर्स लगाया जाता है वो बॉडी उसके ऊपर उतना ही फोर्स अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में लगाती है तो ये बोल जो है जब पानी में जा रही थी तो उसने इतने न्यूटन का इतने न्यूटन का जो फोर्स है उसको क्या कर दिया पानी को इधर कर दिया इतना का इतना फोर्स ये पानी इस बोल पर लगाएगा किधर ऊपर की ओर ऊपर की ओर क्यों लगाएगा क्योंकि ये बोल जब नीचे आई तो इसने पानी पे नीचे फोर्स लगाया तो पानी इधर हुआ तो पानी चाहता है कि मैं मेरी जगह वापस आ जाऊं इसलिए ये बोल को भेजेगा बाहर क्योंकि तो अंदर भेजेगा तो पानी को डिस्प्लेस होना पड़ेगा इसलिए व्हाट द बोल वुड वांट सॉरी वो लिक्विड वुड वांट वो पानी के ऊपर सॉरी बोल के ऊपर फोर्स लगा देगा ऊपर इसलिए क्या होगा ताकि बोल ऊपर जाए और वो पानी अपनी जगह आ सके इसलिए ये जो वेट पानी का हटाया गया है ये जो वेट पानी का हटाया गया है कितना ये वाला जो वेट है इतना का इतना फोर्स इस बोल पर कौन लगा देगा वाटर लगा देगा यानी लिक्विड लगा देगा ऊपर की ओर वो क्या होगा रो एल वी डिस्प्लेस इनटू जी ये जो फोर्स है ये बायोनसी फोर्स बोला जाएगा इसे मैं बायोनसी फोर्स नहीं कहूंगा इसे मैं बायोट फोर्स बोलूंगा वजह क्या ध्यान से सुने जो ये आपका ब्लॉक है ये वाला ये क्या करेगा पानी में जाएगा पानी में जाएगा तो पानी के एक वॉल्यूम की जगह खुद लेगा तो उस वॉल्यूम में जितना मास आ सकता है वो मास कितना है वो मास है यह ध्यान से देखें वी डैश इन टूल ये मास है ये पानी का साइड में जाएगा और उसके ऊपर ग्रेविटी अगर मैं लगा दूं तो बताओ उस पानी का वेट कितना होगा उस पानी का वेट ये हो जाएगा ये पानी का वेट है वो डिस्प्लेस किया जाएगा अब ये पानी के ऊपर सोच लो इतना फोर्स लगा है तो पानी न्यूटन थर्ड लो से इतना का इतना फोर्स कहां लगा देगा ऊपर लगा देगा इसलिए वो बॉडी ऊपर की और एक फोर्स फील करेगी और इसमें नीचे तो कौन है एम बोलो है कि नहीं ये सोर नो और आई कैन राइट इज रो मटीरियल इन टू वी कंप्लीटली जी ये फोर्स है कौन सा आपको मैंने बताया था इसका मटेरियल का ये फोर्स नीचे लग रहा है और जब हवा में था वेन इट वॉज इन डिपिंग इन द एयर देर इज नो सच फोर्स इन अपर डायरेक्शन तो वेट बॉडी का कितना आ रहा था इतना आ रहा था और वेन इट इज डिप्ड इन साइड द वॉटर एक अपवर्ड फोर्स आ गया किस वजह से क्योंकि इस बोल ने पानी पे फोर्स लगाया और वो फोर्स कितना इक्वल था इतना तो इतना का इतना फोर्स ये वॉटर जो है ये इसके ऊपर लगा देगा उसे कहते हैं बायोन सी फोर्स ये सोर नो ठीक ये दिस इज क्लियर टू यू ये दिस इज क्लियर टू यू Now, this is the force that has been exerted by the force. This is called bionic force. This is called bionic force. Now, oh uh, yes, this is called bionic force. So let me redraw the fact. Right, right. Now see. Again, we consider this container fine, and uh, let me fill this with the. Uh, white water fine see this is again we are assuming an another container see in this container what we going to do is that we would try to take one more case first case if rho l equal to rho m this is we are considering the first case density of liquid and density of material is equal we are taking this case fine now see we are having we are having the object that is let us say completely inside the okay is good completely now our block is completely inside the system so this is rho m the density and this is the volume fine and there is a force called mg or i would say this is rho m vz downward on this object right now since the water has been dipped inside the water that you are taking it as on side the object this object is inside the water so the up thrust force would be there 
and this is called bionic force this is called bionic force this bionic force i told you before 2 minutes this is the rho l into v and this v is dipped volume not entire volume of the object only that volume is considered in bionic force that is dipped inside the liquid into z this is the formula of bionic force so clearly can be seen whenever any body is immersed in a liquid there is a force called bionic force in upward direction and the magnitude of that force will be rho l into v dipped into z so if v dipped is zero let us say i have a uh, a sphere and i have not dipped inside the water so buoyancy would be zero because v dipped is zero fine so rho density and force is liquid so in buoyancy the role of what's density of liquid is majorly not the density of a density of liquid is considered density of liquid is considered fine buoyancy force ke andar density kiski hoti hai liquid ki hoti hai material ki nahi hoti volume pura nahi hota volume duba hua hota hai aur g is a gravitational constant right gravity constant that is 9.8 now if this body is completely dipped inside the water so i would say there is an upward force we call it buoyancy and this buoyancy would be rho l v kyunki pura dub gaya into z now consider this and this so this is uh, let us consider this is your small ball and there is a force downward this is rho m v z and there is an upward force that is rho l v z fine now i have assume the condition that is rho l is equal to rho m it means both the force are equal and so the f net on this body is zero so what i mean to say is that ye body it stays here ye yahi rahegi it stays here if you are dipping any object just completely and the liquid and the material are having same density now what would have happened these ball would stay here it is what we call fully immersed it is what we call fully immersed fully immersed now just think one more if this ball has come here now the same situation would have happened there the force would be this and upward force would be this there would no change in this condition it means ball would remain there so i want to convey you is that the final position that is if the ball is here let us say ball is here let me let me explain this in a another diagram let me explain in the another diagram and now see okay is right see this is our container and we are filling this with water so now we have yellow water fine now see okay is and what we do is that how yes yes now this is a bit outside the surface what i mean to say is that is samay hamara jo ball hai wo upar ki aur dhyan se dekhna niche ki aur force kya hoga rho m v z fine now there is an upward force called buoyancy and that is rho liquid v z and now v dash why because this volume is not the part of dipped volume and will not be considered in the buoyancy so this is v dipped so clearly i can see that this entire volume is bigger than the dipped volume so the net force net force on this body net force on this body on which body this body is downward so if you would take the neck of this body out of the surface of the liquid there is an downward net force so after some time this body would come completely inside the liquid so what i want to convey you is that if this is the statement if the density of if the density of liquid if the density of liquid and material if the density of liquid and material is equal is equal then is equal then the body would the body would always the body would always remain 
the body will always remain emerged and i would say fully emerged this is fully emerged fully emerged और इसे मैं देसी भाषा में अगर कहूं तो आई वुड से कि जब हमारी डेंसिटी मटेरियल की और लिक्विड की बराबर होती है उस समय बॉडी कंप्लीटली डूबी रहती है और डूब कर तैरती है सो आई वुड से इस केस में ये डूबती हुई डूबती हुई तैरती है डूबती हुई तैरती है इन दिस केस आपकी बॉडी डूबती हुई तैरेगी ये बात ध्यान रखें हमारे पास नाउ वी हैव टू मोर केस एंड दैट इज रो एल ग्रेटर देन रो एम and second rho l less than rho m in these two case in one case body would sink in this case body would sink and in this case body is partially immersed body is partially immersed and for that we would make a new video till then i hope uh, abhi aapko samajh mein aaya hoga what i just taught you i wanted to teach you is that how does the weight of a body is less as compared to the weight of its body inside the air when you dip the body inside a liquid because there is a force called upthrust force called buoyant force that is always upward in the direction when a body is dipped inside the water there is a force called buoyant force due to that liquid because when the body is dipped inside the liquid the partial part of the body that has been dipped inside the water inside the liquid has put a force on the liquid so in retaliation to that force that body is applying and force so that it can behave it can follow the action reaction law so it is just simply applying a equal amount of force that equals to the weight of the displaced water so let us say your weight is 500 and newton your weight is 500 and newton and you are displacing 200 and newton water when you just dip inside the water then 200 and newton force is acting on you upward so your total weight is 500 and and, and uh, upthrust force of 200 and newton is in upside so net force on your body would be 500 and minus 200 and is equal to 300 and downward so your reading of the weight on the machine would be 300 newton so you feel oh i'm little bit uh, Uh, apparent weight would be um, uh, less than your actual weight fine so this is the main reason why you feel your weight is little bit less than your actual weight when you are in the liquid so we are left with two more cases i hope we'll 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 we'll, we'll meet in the next video for these two cases thank you thank you so much this is arvind pedwal from this side thank you